Well I just stole some material and need to get this done quick, so I'm gonna skip the introductions. All you need to know is it's the top 10 worst Mario Kart characters list, and it's shit. Eat my dust, Nathan. Skipping his introductory bullshit too, it's just him shilling to some advertiser and showing his retarded sounding fake production name. And right before his retarded sounding fake production name is his slogan. Striving for originality. The prosecution rests, your honor. Warning, warning! This list is all about having some fun! Don't take it so seriously if your favorite character is on here, because I'm not. So, the worst Mario Kart characters. There's a lot of bad ones that I can't wait to tear apart. Without further ado, let's go! Number 10! Hey look, it's the guy that saved the video game industry. He tried to kill James Rolfe one time, and he even has his own NES game. Not really, they just used the peripheral. That'd be like looking at Virtua Fighter and saying, Look, the 32X just got its own video game, guys. Two, in fact. Rob the Robot is a really interesting character, and we should all praise him like a god for sneaking Nintendo onto toy shelves in the middle of the 1983 video game crash. You heard that right, the NES was marketed as a toy to get into stores at first because stores wouldn't take video games from the crash. You sly dogs. They innovate not only with their technology, but with their marketing schemes too. Okay, history lesson over. Rob just doesn't feel right to be in a Mario Kart game. It's just strange seeing non-Mario characters in Mario Kart. And yes, I even have the balls to say that it was strange seeing Link and Villager in Mario Kart 8. Okay, so why aren't they on the list? I mean, after all, the only reason you give for them being quote-unquote bad is because they quote-unquote don't feel like they fit which besides being a shitty reason, should also apply to Villager and Link. Their appearances fell out of place. However, I don't feel that way towards the DK <laughs> franchise. I guess that's because Donkey Kong was a Mario character to begin with. Oh, you don't say. So I guess this whole point had no purpose. And was just a waste of time. Wow, that sure was neat. But yeah, man, Rob is just strange. I wouldn't call him a bad character, really. And that's why I put him on a worse list. Now give me my special Olympic countdown medal. He's more or less just way too out there. Everyone else on this list, though. Number 9! So, Lekitu. Why is he driving? That doesn't even make sense to me. In every Mario Kart title, Lekitu was always the guy that's starting the race and fishing players from pits and holes. Now, people have told me that the shell color is different. The one we play as has a red shell, while the guy in charge of the race has a green shell. I know Lekitu is a species, and there can be multiple versions of him, but it's just really strange when Lekitu saves Lekitu. I notice a running theme here. You say a character is strange and practically nothing else, and then tack them on the end of your worst list. At this point, it feels like it should have been a top 5 instead. I mean, hell, that's like saying, wow, that Shino XL sure is strange. That means he's the worst rapper in the universe. When obviously the opposite is true. Shino XL is the best rapper alive! I mean, hell, it's kind of underwhelming when at the beginning you say, there's a lot of bad ones that I can't wait to tear apart. And then in the actual list, you're just like, oh, well, this character is just kind of strange. I get that it's the beginning of the list, but it feels really weird and comes off as false advertising. It's like a paradox. Paradox, a statement or proposition that, despite sound, or apparently sound, reasoning from acceptable premises, leads to a conclusion that seems senseless, logically unacceptable, or self-contradictory. Yeah, no, that's not a paradox. <laughs> it's a Lakitu saving another thing of its own species. It's an Lakitu saving another Lakitu. I might not be the smartest guy ever, but at least I learned what words mean before using them in a fucking sentence. Wow, that there Lakitu, he sure is a juxtaposition. This is the most faux intellectual Mario Kart video I've ever watched. Now you might think, well, Koopa Troopas and Paratroopas are playable characters in Mario Kart, and they are, but they also don't have any other significant purpose in this franchise aside from maybe being stage hazard in some of the tracks. Because apparently, using the hollowed out carcasses of turtles in Mario Kart isn't a problem in the slightest, but using another member of a species is. Yeah, that, that, okay. Also, even if Koopa Troopas didn't play a significant role outside of being a racer, they do, wouldn't that make Lakitu unique and be an argument for how that could actually make him one of the better ideas for a racer? Call me picky, because I am. Man, picking apart your own segment sure seems fun. You know, Hunter, you really are a faggot. I know, sorry. Number 8. Okay, what's this all about, Nintendo? Honey Queen? I mean, seriously? Her inclusion makes very little sense. Mario Galaxy 1 came out in 2007, Mario Galaxy 2 2010, and Mario Kart 7 in 2011. Now, I only bring up these seemingly redundant dates because I thought that maybe Nintendo was just trying to advertise the Galaxy titles, but that just isn't the case here since the games were already out. The problem here isn't resizing Honey Queen so she fits in the car, obviously that had to happen, but the problem is that she is a bee! Bees are not meant to drive! Are you... Fucking serious. Bees are not meant to drive, you guys! Fucking wow, I am speechless. You, sir, 
are officially trash. Hey, King Boo's driving and he's fucking dead. Where's the excuse there? Why do they let babies drive? What if Mario Kart is actually an underground sport where children are abused for others' amusement? Why is Pat Robertson still alive? You open the wormhole, buddy. There's no going back now. You know what happens when bees get in a car? You scream like he got Bieber fever and swatted the bee, which leads you to just getting stung by the bee and crashing your car and dying. No, that joke fell flatter than Jeb Bush's campaign. Now go back to the trash can, fagula. Snap back to spaghetti. Number seven. So that rant I just had about Honey Queen? A lot of that nonsensical logic applies to Wiggler too, but on an even grander scale. Honey Queen is at least somewhat shaped in a way to be driving a car, but a caterpillar? Are you freaking me? Whoa, slow down, that sure is some edgy language, son. Doing Nintendo! Oh, that's cute, you gave him some gloves so he can drive the car. That's nice of you to do for him, but that doesn't excuse the fact that he's a caterpillar! I don't even care if any of you play as Wiggler or any of those characters in Mario Kart, the design isn't something that I can easily digest. I actually think the design is sort of creative. Like how he drives with only a couple of his arms and the others are just hanging out there. It looks kind of funny. Oh, sorry, I'm actually explaining my point. My bad. We've seen him as freaking carts for crying out loud. So is Yoshi. Your point is invalid. Like, completely. No, for real. Spaghetti. Number six. Here we go with the baby characters. Nobody can deny how hilarious it was when we first saw Baby Mario and Baby Luigi driving in Double Dash, but Baby Daisy? Yeah, that's a problem. Baby Mario and Baby Luigi work because they've been in a few other games besides just Mario Kart, including Yoshi's Island, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, and so on. Since they have some sort of recognizable background, it only makes sense to add them as playable characters. Baby Daisy, however, has only been made for Mario Kart. Well, okay, she's also been in Mario Sluggers, but that's beyond the point. Beyond the point? That destroys your point. God damn it, Hunter, you left the toilet seat up. I've had it up to here with your shit. This is only the beginning of the trend of lazy characters being created for the sake of having more characters. Less is more, Nintendo. Less is more. Listen to my mom. That's her slogan, and she knows what's up. I know that so well because I still live with her. Yeah. Number five. Oh, the baby character hype train ain't over yet, folks! Welcome aboard, baby Rosalina! Yay! Three cheers for crappy characters! Hip hip, why? Why does this character actually exist? Thinking in the most general manner, I could possibly imagine baby Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Daisy all being born. Because Mario and Peach are supposedly a thing, and the same goes for Luigi and Daisy. So maybe they're just the kids or whatever. But baby Rosalina? I'll never understand this one. Okay, no. You brought up Partners in Time earlier. Do you actually know what that game's premise is? Baby Mario and Luigi are them from the past, not their kids. And the same applies to everyone else, so it makes sense here. I've never even played the game and I was able to figure this out, so what's your excuse? Does Nintendo headquarters have a secret underground lair with a big machine that turns anything into a baby? How'd you find out? Who told him? Was it Reggie? Reggie, did you tell him? You're getting a pay cut, you little bitch. I got an idea. Why don't we have Baby Waluigi? Oh, I know! Baby Birdo! Wait, wait, even better! Baby Dry Bowser! Oh mama, those extra juicy ideas are really kicking into my brain now. I want to know less and less about your mom as this video goes on. Come on Nintendo, just make the next Mario Kart feature everyone is babies, please. That's all I really wanted. That's all anyone really wanted. Babies for life or riot. Number four. Ladies and gentlemen, we have hit clone territory. Brace yourselves, buckle in, get ready for a turd fest. Ugh, Metal Mario. His model in both Mario Kart 7 and 8 are both exactly the same. Um, why is that a surprise to you? All the characters' models look pretty much the same between 7 and 8. Cause, uh, I, I don't know if you've heard this, but, uh, they're the same fucking characters. It's just... It's just Mario with a metal coat of paint! Oh, trust me, I've seen worse versions of Mario. The only real difference is that the voice is pitched in a metallic way, and that's pretty much it. You can tell me that, well, Metal Mario does different types of tricks, so you're wrong, just like unsubbed. I don't sound like that, shut up. God, ugh. But, uh, no. What I am gonna say is that Metal Mario is a heavy character, with completely different stats, so he plays differently. Since, you know, Mario Kart is a game that you play, so that kind of matters. You following? And 
you know, that may or may not be true. That's not something I need to research. Well, why didn't you research it then? I guess I gotta do it for you. Yeah, if you're gonna make a video like this, at the very least, do the research yourself. Okay, so I was going to record some footage to test this, but apparently my save file got corrupted or something, so none of the secret characters are unlocked, so that's fucking great. So I went and found footage on the internet, and yeah, they look pretty different. Not that it really matters, since that argument is shit anyway, and I came up with a much better one. I mean, just look at how lazy this is! Now, I am aware that Mario does obtain the suit through Mario 64 through the Metal Cap, and everyone knows that, but it's not a good justification to make him a separate character. Most clone characters don't have smart and thought-out justifications if they're essentially just carbon copies. Okay, I agree that Metal Mario is a pretty shitty idea for an extra character, but I still can't give you this segment since your arguments were piss poor and you didn't do your research for shit. Number 3 Mario Kart 8 DLC is cheap, fulfilling, and enjoyable. For the most part, that is. There's a couple problems. One being that most of the DLC characters we get are garbage. Okay, there's six DLC characters, and two of them you seem to think are garbage. Yeah, two out of six is at most, that's not how math works. Say hello to Cat Peach. All Nintendo did was inject the Cat Bell power-up from Super Mario 3D World into Peach's arm and made her a cat for eternity. What's your thing against injection? I hate to bring your mom back into this, but did she have any, you know... Bad habits. Who the hell requested this to be in the game? I kind of understand furries seeing this as attractive, and I'm not hating on you guys. You do you. Aside from that though, what is the actual point? Oh, right, she doesn't talk. She just meows at you now. Well, that's just wonderful. I'm so glad that instead of getting a left out Mario Kart 8 character like, I don't know, Birdo, Diddy Kong, or maybe someone brand new like Nabbit or Boom Boom, we instead get this hot mess. <gasps> NB said Cat Peach was hot. He's a freak confirmed. Guys, calm. Calm down. I know some of you are pretty riled up down there. Wait, what? Riled up down there? What does that mean? What's down there? Help, I'm scared. Yeah, I see you. Now look, I'm not a freak. Uh, People that are furries are not freaks. Uh, but these next two characters, oh, they certainly are. Number two. You know, there's really not a lot for me to say about Tanuki Mario that I haven't already addressed about Cat Peach. That's why I gave him his own slot, even though I admit I have nothing interesting to say. This is how making good YouTube videos works, right guys? Right? Now I'm gonna go hang myself, even though I admit I have no motivation to. Instead of wasting your time with filler, I know what you guys really want. You know who number one is on the list. Or do you? Have I changed my mind? Have I not? Are you procrastinating? Is the sky really blue? Did she actually say that? He actually cheated on her? Is Michael Jackson still alive? Will I ever stop asking questions? Has Area 51 discovered aliens? Mario Kart 64 or Diddy Kong Racing? Ow! Okay, geez, sorry. Eh, yeah. it's funnier when I do it. Number one one worst, worst Mario Kart character, character ever, ever is! is. Wow, I sure do love this new pace. Why do countdowns feel the need to do this shit a lot of the time? By building it up, it ironically just kills the momentum completely. Guys. Pink gold peach. Pink. Gold. Peach. Whoa, that was unexpected. It's not like you already brought her up in the beginning of your video, and even spoiled her in your fucking thumbnail. This truly is a Shyamalan level twist here. You know, we've had a lot of really, really bad characters on this list. We've had clones, we've had lazy choices, and we've had just obscure pieces of garbage. But this is a whole nother level. Pink Gold Peach. What is Pink Gold Peach? She is lazy, obscure, and a clone. All three rolled into one. I don't even know, what am I supposed to say about this? I don't know. You know what, let me do it for you. This list is petty, boring, and poorly put together, and I probably shouldn't have made this in the first place. Now if you excuse me, I'm gonna go home and cry myself to sleep while listening to Barry Manilow. Just look at her! Look at how lazy this is. 
What were you doing, Nintendo? Did you have, what, 12 hours to think of one more new character? Hmm. We have characters like Birdo, Diddy Kong, King Boo, Nabbit. We could use any of these characters. They're all either fan favorites or they're new characters that could have been presented to Mario Kart 8 and could have been a great addition. But what we got instead was a clone of Peach. So in other words, oh no, they didn't use characters I wanted, so that makes it bad. Goku for Smash Brothers, guys. And not even a clone that could be referenced to anything. It's just pink gold. That's all it is. No changes. You know, ignoring them once again completely different stats, but that's not important now, is it? Just costumes changed. And you know what the worst part is? Wow. I'm really loving all these dramatic pauses. Aren't you guys? Huh? Do you think these dramatic pod- People defend her. That's right. People defend Pink Gold Peach. You know what they say? That Metal Mario needed a girlfriend. And they definitely weren't joking, you guys. Definitely. That is an actual excuse. And I can't... People will defend anything. Whoa, it's almost like people have different opinions and shit. That's, that's scary. What was it you said at the beginning of this video? Warning, warning! This list is all about having some fun! Don't take it so seriously if your favorite character is on here, because I'm not. Wow, I sure am feeling the not taking this seriously, what with this serious tone and all. Aren't you guys? But I'll tell you what, I'm gonna defend everyone that's actually thinking clearly. <laughs> Nintendo? No more of this laziness! I could say the same thing to you about your script writing, but whatever. You can do better. I've seen you do better. I expect better from the NX. And I expect better from the next Mario Kart. No more clone characters. And if you're gonna do that, you're gonna make the costume changes optional. Implying the clone characters aren't already optional to use along with every character in the fucking roster. If you don't like a character, just don't use them. Do I really have to explain this? So say, if you want to play as Peach, you can swap out her costume. She will not replace a character slot! Are you fucking serious? So the only reason you have a problem with these clone characters is because they take up a character slot? Listen, Mario Kart 8 has the biggest roster yet, and there's nothing to suggest they wouldn't go further than that if they wanted to. You're trying to suggest that the slots of the characters you wanted in the roster were stolen by the other ones, when that's complete tinfoil hat horseshit. If Nintendo wanted to put Diddy Kong or whoever in the game, that's what they do. They didn't want to, and now you're butthurt about it. That's all this feels like. And there's nothing wrong with wanting certain characters in a game, but that doesn't justify going on stupid rants like this. I will not allow it this time. Thank you. You're not welcome. This video was just whining obnoxious. It's not your opinions that are the problem, it's how you justify them in every one of your segments. This is enough to tell me that you're just another third-rate diamond dozen countdown maker, or quarter a dozen depending on who you're talking about. Have fun swimming in the same pond as people like Chaos Key, Speedster, and Aerodragon. I'm out.